Hey, what's up you guys? Today we're going to be pulling a data log file from the OpenFlash tablet. Uh, in order to do that, we first have to record a data file. So with your OpenFlash tablet connected, we will go ahead and go to Diagnostics, and then My Car, and then choose Real-Time Data Display. From this screen, you can see we have quite a few values that are being shown in real time. However, the value we are most interested in is this knock retard number. We can start recording by hitting the stop button, a little counterintuitive. And now is when you would go jump on the freeway, do a couple pulls, get a little bit of data there. I'm not going to do that right now. I already have a log uh, from before. So we will go ahead and stop by pressing the flashing record button. We will be asked to save our file and name it. I'm just going to throw a generic name in there. You can name it whatever you want and save. And that's all there is to recording the data file. Now to pull the file from the OpenFlash tablet is a little bit more involved. First, we're going to have to download and install the software from OpenFlash's website. Uh, I'll put this link below, but we can also get to it by going to support and downloads, scrolling down here to Open Flash Manager, and we're gonna grab this updated version. We are going to go ahead and right click, save as. We're gonna put it on our desktop. From the desktop, we will right click and run as administrator. We will do the more info and run anyway, and then click yes. We will then accept the agreement, basically just next, 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 all the way through this. Go ahead and install this. I already have it installed. And when we finish, it will run. Uh, at this point, it will look for the device. Uh, let me get it plugged in now. Once it is connected, it will begin identifying, and then it will likely need to update. I know that the software, at the very least, is going to have some updates here, uh, and that's likely going to take quite some time. Uh, in the past, it's taken up to an hour. Uh, I do know that my tablet is all the way updated as I've run through this recently. So we're just going to go ahead and allow it to update. Right now I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this whole update process, but as usual I will put a timestamp on the screen so that you can see exactly what, uh, how long it took. Alright, that one actually went significantly faster than the last one. Uh, but to pull your data file we're going to go ahead and come here to data logging. We're going to download all of our files. Uh, as you can see here's the one that I recorded earlier. It's going to be a very short file. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab this L file though because I know it has at least a little bit of data on it. We're going to export it to CSV. I'm just going to save it to my desktop. And here it is. If you look at it you'll see all those values uh, from before. This is definitely really hard to look at, so the easiest way to get a, a general idea is going to be using datazap.me. Uh, you will have to make a free file, or sorry, you will have to make a free account, um, but this is definitely one of the easiest ways to kind of upload and take a quick look at your files, I think. Now with this, you can see these are my RPM ratings for this run. You can see over here, it took it to about 4,500 RPM. This wasn't a super uh, involved run. It was just a very short run to get an idea. Um, but what we want to do is to turn on the knock retard graph. Um, the main thing you want to be concerned about is this getting anywhere near negative one from what I've heard. But with the Mazda MX-5, OpenFlash offers a review 
for free of your data files. So let's take a look at this. So we're going to go ahead and fill out the free data log review form. From here, you'll fill out your name, your email, your phone number. We'll select free data log review, fill out your vehicle information, information about your fuel. We'll select our files, upload the files. Uh, I would put in any information about your vehicle here, any modifications you've done and so forth, uh, and then go ahead and send that off. From there, Shiv or someone from the Open Flash team will get back to you and let you know if there's anything you should be concerned about in that log file. And that's about it. Um, if you have any questions, as always, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Uh, like and subscribe if you want, and have a great day.